Good day, everyone. Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Minty Betts, joined by Las Vegas Chris at Las Vegas Chris on Twitter, duh, and Tony Finn at Finn at Wager Talk on Twitter. Give them both a follow, guys. This Sunday afternoon, we've got uh, a matchup I'm actually excited for. The Pittsburgh Steelers hosting the Cincinnati Bengals. Steelers are only favored by seven and a half points here, and the total set at 47. I'm hearing right now as we're filming this on a Tuesday that Big Ben is on the COVID list. So we'll kind of see how this plays out. But Chris, I would love to know your thoughts on this game. Well, you're, you're going to have to sit back and see what happens until Saturday. Uh, mm-hmm. Not only Ben is on the COVID list, but uh, uh, some other players are also. Um, obviously, everybody knows Pittsburgh got lucky last week to you know scrape by with that win. But if you know Pittsburgh, they always do that uh, against lower tier teams. They're famous for that. Uh, that was their third straight road game. So, I, you know, it's it's not too hard to give them a little bit of a pass on this. Uh, uh, this line did open at nine and a half, ten range. Uh, it's really easy to get behind Cincinnati coming off that bye. They're getting Mixon back finally. And uh, they've been, you know, people love the Bengals. They're seven, one, and one against the spread their last eight uh, going back to last season, uh, depending on that Cleveland line you had. But uh, Burroughs is a, is a guy that you want to get behind. He doesn't like to lose. He's got great character. He's hitting 67% of his passes. He's got an 11 to 5 touchdown ratio. Uh, in five out of the last seven games, he's passed for over 300 yards. But here they go. They're playing the number one defense in the NFL, according to my rankings. And Pittsburgh has every incentive whatsoever to keep winning. Uh, they they want to stay ahead of stay ahead of Kansas City. They want to host that conference game. Uh, so they're going to be motivated, and they've demonstrated that they're going to be motivated. They're five and two in their last seven divisional matchups. They take these mm-hmm. divisional games seriously. They're averaging four sacks a game, the, the number one in the NFL. They're holding opposing quarterbacks to 57 or 58% uh, pass completions. Uh, so what I really need to see, though, is the health on Saturday. Uh, if everything's a go, I'm, I'm, if I can get a seven, I'll, pro- I'll definitely be wagering on Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm not going to lay that oh. hope, though. I think that that's a little bit too strong. Oh, okay. I'm actually on the Bengals. Uh, I, you know, bet them at plus seven and a half. So that hook helps me. A big Joe Burrow guy. Love the Bengals. Love them. And it's this spot here, especially if there's going to be no Big Ben. But we'll see. Tony, wrap it up for us. What do you think about this game? Well, is there going to be a Big Ben? Because if there's a Big Ben, this is a game where I, I have to know whether Ben is playing or he's not playing. That it, mm-hmm. That's a deciding factor on whether I'm on, whether I'm off, whether I'm even considering this game. Uh, to make it really mm-hmm. a, a, a big game, because it's a divisional game. This is a big game for both teams. Chris is right. The Steelers need to win. They don't want to win. They need to win. These are the games they have to win. In the ketchup bottle, it's never easy to win in the ketchup bottle. And Dallas, let's we'll divert a little bit to Dallas here, and that is – I was on the Steelers last week laying that big number despite all the trends Ooh. that say, as Chris suggested, um, you know, third road game in a row, second road game in a row in, in the NFL is tough. Uh, mm-hmm. However, I don't put a lot on road games right now because of no crowd. I wouldn't take Dallas if you gave me 20 points against any team. And, and it was one of those games where I'm not afraid to lay the wood this time of year. I'm not afraid to lay it here. Uh, the, the Steelers mm-hmm. – Dallas played as well as they can play. They played as good as they can play, and they still lost. Steelers found a way to win. Good teams find a way to win, and the Steelers will win. They will win this game even without Big Ben. However, I don't want to lay a 10 without Big Ben, so I'm going to – let's put it this way. I'm on the Steelers minus the number if Ben's playing. If not, then I'm watching. Hmm. All righty. Well, both of you kind of lean towards the Steelers. I like the Bengals here. Good. I think also Pittsburgh has Jacksonville up next too. So they, they can sit back and relax on their next game. It makes it a little bit easier for them to come in hard this game. And, and, and Ben's schedule for the whole week was going to be that way anyway, you know, resting his knee. So it's not going to be that disruptive for him. And before we go off air and we make, let's go ahead and make a producer uh, pissy. But, uh, and that is, 
wasn't that a strange decision? Anybody else? If you had a teaser on this game last week, for instance, the Steelers, uh, they're a fourth and one from the Dallas 15 with 40 seconds, 43 seconds left in the game, uh, leading 24 to 19. And they don't kick the field goal to go up by eight. They hand the ball off to Connor. And guess what? Less than 40 seconds later, Dallas has a shot at the end zone to win the game. Yeah. Am I, and, and as a guy who I don't play teasers, but I have a, a lot of people do, uh, I'm, I'm doing back. I'm not doing backflips. I'm getting ready to do a backflip on the top of Tomlin because he didn't decide to kick field goal there. So I don't know. <laughs> Good point, there, guys. Um, I'm going to cut this video now, Tony. Before you say anything, yeah. Before you say anything about four steps for one ninety nine, get every college football and NFL play for any handicapper through the end of November at sportsmemo.com and wagertalk.com. Thanks, gentlemen, and thanks everyone for joining us.